what's up guys so it's day three now and uh, I really don't know what I'm going to talk about I'm finding this is uh, actually pretty difficult to do to where I just ramble on each day 10 minutes is a really long time I don't know if you guys know that but uh, I ended up waking up at about 4.30 and greased my fifth wheel like I told you all I was going to do uh, I greased the fifth wheel, went ahead headed down to Great Falls, uh, Montana from uh, Shelby. Once I got down there, I uh, filled up my tanks, spent like, like 450 yay. And uh, once I left there, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's one of the best roads in the country from uh Great Falls on I-15 all the way down to uh, Butte. The scenery is just magnificent. So uh, what I did was, since I have the uh, Samsung S9, they have this uh, hyperlapse function that you can use. So uh, I went ahead and did that and ended up taking like two and a half hours for a six minute video. But so I don't ruin it, I went ahead and just, uh, I didn't do any talking in that one. And I'm going to post it separately right after this one. Uh, I think it's really cool how the Samsungs do that. I'm not sure if the iPhones do it or not. But uh, after I got down there, I went ahead and headed on to my stop, which was uh, right above Idaho Falls. Uh, they loaded me full of potatoes, which I'm taking back to North Carolina, Black Mountain. Uh, they loaded me a little heavy at first, and I had to end up getting them to take some stuff off, and they were hesitant. They really didn't want to, but I'm not sure what they wanted me to do since uh, 81,000, no matter how you work it out, it's too heavy. But I got that figured out. I couldn't get the, uh, the axles to move, so I had to get the hammer out and beat on the, uh, the rails a little bit. So... Uh, that's definitely one tool I would always keep with me. I have a little ball ping hammer and uh, I have to use it sometimes in the winter when the, the brakes freeze up and you're going to, to pick up a, a trailer at the drop yard or something. It'll sit there and they'll freeze up and you got to beat on them to get them to start moving. And then uh, things like that. You, just, you never know when you're going to need a hammer. So I found that out the hard way uh, two winters ago. So I've had one with me ever since. Uh, after I left there, I did an ag exten uh, exemption, which is like 150 air miles. Uh, I don't think all companies allow you to do it. So uh, before you go doing it, you might want to look up the rules and regulations for uh, your company. But pulling fresh produce, you don't uh, you don't need to use your uh, your clock within 150 air miles and you know, I could be off a little bit but that's the gist of it so I made it down here to the ranch hand which is on uh, on 30 right before you get to the uh, the Wyoming border and if you drive out here you've probably drove past this place it's a uh, it's a pretty nice stop they've got plenty of parking usually always and uh, the showers are really clean I just went and took a shower right when I got parked after I took a shower, I went inside and uh, had some fresh food. I had the uh, the salad bar, which honestly was really good. I figured, you know, the lettuce might be a little old or something like that. But I had the salad bar. It was great. And then I had a piece of grilled chicken with a uh, piece of Swiss cheese on top of it. And that was also really great. It did take them about 40 minutes to get me my food. But since I had the salad bar, I didn't really mind. The price wasn't too bad. I think it was $13, and then, you know, you leave the tip. But uh, I highly recommend if y'all haven't stopped, you should stop here and try some of the food. Uh, if you're a drinker, there's a bar inside that's uh, uh, open, I think, every night. But uh, I'm not much of a drinker, so I don't really go back there. The restaurant is open 24 hours a day, though, in case you need it. But... Uh, I went ahead and made it down here and I'm going to start my 34 and wait it out here I guess until Monday morning and start heading home. Uh, 
my first two stops on this trip was in Omaha or my first two pieces my first stop was in Omaha Nebraska and uh, for some reason they wouldn't take my uh, two pieces of furniture I had for them so I've actually got it on this trailer and uh, I'm gonna try to stop by there on my way home to uh, deliver those two pieces uh, keep the customer happy keep us happy and uh, make a little more money but other than that, it was a, it was a pretty good day. Uh, I don't have very many plans for tonight since it's my 34, so I guess I'll just uh, get on my tablet and talk to my beautiful girlfriend at home and uh, probably watch some, some movies on Netflix. Been into uh, binge watching NCIS lately, which is uh, really addicting. But yeah, that's about all. That's that's all I've done today. Or all I plan on doing, too. Uh, it's been six minutes. This is where I started having trouble yesterday. Uh, I did listen to a, another Joe Rogan podcast today. I took it back a few years. I think it was number 460 or something like that. It was a pretty good one. I forgot the exact uh, exact number of the guy's name but uh, it wasn't bad and then listen to some music on Pandora and that was pretty much my whole day so what else should we talk about hmm. so I guess we can talk about some of the pet peeves I have as a truck driver. So, like, I guess one of the biggest ones would be people parking on the fuel island for the 30-minute break. Now, I can I can see, you know, you uh, pulling forward and starting your 30-minute break until the guy gets done fueling behind you. But I see people all the time, they'll get fuel, they'll pull forward, or sometimes they don't even pull forward, There'll be people lined up at every single pump waiting, and they're just taking their time. They'll sit there for 30 minutes. I've actually pumped fuel before, pulled forward, went inside, and came out while they've still been sitting there taking their break. And, I mean, you got to be a shitty person to do that. I don't, I don't even know a better way to say it. If y'all don't agree, y'all can tell me, but... There's no reason for any person to be that bad of a person to other people. When everybody's trying to get the job done, everybody's trying to do the same thing, why sit there and make someone either late for a, an appointment or, you know, trapped so he can't pull forward, he can't pull out? Not everybody takes 30-minute breaks on the, the fuel island, so just because you are doesn't mean the person behind you has 30 minutes to kill so that's one of my pet peeves and then another one is uh if there's two trucks governed at 65 miles an hour and let's say the truck behind the first truck is catching him pretty good but you know because just because they're governed at 65 one might be pulling a little bit better that's usually how it always works if not then you wouldn't be catching each other and then the guy gets over in the left lane to pass that the guy going a little bit slower. You know, maybe when he starts, there's nobody there, nobody behind him. So he's getting over. He's trying to go. Next thing you know, here everybody else comes. I can actually go faster than 65. And now these two drivers are holding up both lanes. And I don't know what y'all do, but it's super easy to tap my brake and let my Jake brake slow me down a little bit if that guy's passing me then I know automatically that his truck is a little bit faster than mine so instead of making him battle and stay behind me all day long why not slow down a little bit let that guy pass get in front of you and then you'll never have to worry about him again because his truck's a little faster than yours but every day I'll see somebody in the slow lane riding right next to the person that's uh, trying to pass or the person in the slow lane will speed up. But uh, other than that, those are 
my two main ones, uh, I don't really have any, well, I'm sure I do. <laughs> I'm sure everybody gets that little bit of road rage or road rage every now and then, but uh, those are like my two biggest pet peeves. Everything else, I just let slide in one ear, out the other, and and keep on about my day. It's, uh, my day's too valuable to, to waste it on those types of people. All right, so I reached my 10 minutes and uh, 30 seconds. I know I stumbled and fell through this one like crazy. It wasn't, uh, definitely wasn't my best video, which I should be getting better as the days go on. But it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put that video, that uh, time lapse, a hyperlapse video, I'm going to put that up right after this one. And uh, so you can watch them both. Uh, the video I made yesterday, I'm actually putting it up right now since it took so long to uh, go to YouTube yesterday because it takes a real long time to process. And then I send it to private video so I can look at it one more time to make sure all my editing was uh, well, at least decent, which uh, usually it's the music and everything that gives me the most trouble. And then if I um, actually almost said my company name, which... Uh, I don't know if I want to yet or not, so I uh, had to edit that out. So, uh, but yeah, by the time it got processed and uploaded, it was I was already asleep. So today I uh, finished it all up and I got it posted. So vlog number two is up, and vlog number three will be up. Well, if you're watching this, it will be up today. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, and I'll see you tomorrow.